god, the season was so good. It was so good. You still haven't watched season two then what are you doing go check it out let's start off with the new characters this season Adoma as I've already said in my previous review she was a great addition to this season I mean she brought a lot of spice to it and now that the season is over if you've not watched it I'm not gonna spoil it but still let's go in Adoma was a very prominent character this season she just was really like you know going in and she was letting have like she was just really a new spicy character and I really really enjoyed it I was absolutely disappointed in her and when the last episode she decided to return to the United States because she couldn't take it anymore like listen I don't even blame her it is very difficult for people that have like me to come and experience a different thing and then want to go back to what you knew I mean there was a reason why you came in the first place so then it, it makes it, it, it not a good or bad reason just a different reason you know what I mean so I was kind of disappointed in her and Shagun for wanting to you know come back to the United States in that um, episode but we'll see I think that's a cliffhanger I'm almost certain like in episode like season three Adoma is gonna change her mind that's, that's just what I'm hoping so fingers crossed on Adoma doing she was of course dating and the biggest thing for Naraya this season is something that I have actually made a video about your natural hair I love how the girls were embracing their natural hair there was not really a lot of like you know um weaves and wigs even though they were in for shade and stuff Nanaya had that conversation with her mom about accepting her natural hair like I know that people were like shocked that wow in Africa we don't um you know what how do you call it embrace our natural hair whatever perception it is that they had in 1905 that made uh Madam CJ Walker make perming creams same reason is in Africa is in everywhere for every black girl or every yeah every black girl because people are still consider her hair like not appropriate it was too poofy it's like lackluster and stuff but now that you're a lot of products and stuff i understand how the writers want to explore that angle i was so excited for her another thing with anaya that her relationship was like a complete disaster she still hung up on shigun which annoys the heck out of me like why she keeps going back to him and try to have this cliff like uh but Adam was a complete disappointment, dude. Like this guy, I was, I was rooting for you. Wait, and <laughs> Adam was a complete and utter disappointment. He turned out to be a married guy. Now this is what I'll say to all girls: if you're dating somebody and you have a feeling in your stomach, in your gut, that this person is a fuck boy. You're absolutely right. He is the fuckboy. This guy turned out to be married. And it is something actually that it's my country. And I'll say it goes on. People like have very weird relationships because of the traditions and the cultures. That's a whole different conversation. Uh, you have to go through so many steps in order to get married. And they feel like if they haven't gotten all through all the steps, then you're not married. Or even when you're with your wives, they kind of feel in their mind you're in an open relationship. Marriages in Africa are not open relationships. So that was the disappointment of the season that Adam actually turned out to be a fuckboy. But oh well. This season was interesting. Ngozi, of course Ngozi met somebody. She being the Charlotte of the group. She met somebody um, and he was like a really nice guy. He still is a nice guy. But I think he's not really quite ready for where Ngozi is trying to go. Ngozi, you know, finally broke her virginity and... She's expecting this guy to get married to him. There's another cliffhanger there. We don't know what's going to happen in season three. But I feel like um, this pressure also with religion that tells women that um, you need to keep your virginity till marriage. So even if a woman and who's very like strictly religious like Ngozi met someone nice, she just couldn't let the relationship take its course. She had to like stare it and paddle it in the um area of marriage and then when this guy was like well maybe let's take a little time and she's like no you need to marry me and i don't blame her because that's what she knows when you have sex with someone you're supposed to marry them so i just also 
like that um angle i haven't met a 30 year old virgin in my life but maybe something that really happens and i just wish it goes well i like the this season and i i wish it will in next um season i think yeah, so mckenna pulled our heartstrings this season um she broke up with stefan because of the whole african-american and african culture split thing i said i would make a video on that i'm absolutely going to make a video on that i just want to make sure when i come up i'm talking fact and i'm really as like sensitive and as you know forward thinking as i could possibly be so i'm um, just watch out for that video i'm going to make that video and mckenna bro broke up with stefan and she started dating and she met this guy who seemed to be a nice guy but then we also come on the issue of consent that how dramatic do you have to get for someone to know that your no means no like how what tone are you supposed to use to tell someone this are I, I we're about to do i hate it like don't do it like i don't understand the art of people like blocking your ears and not hearing no another thing that i wanted to talk about is like the issue of consent again do you have to give consent to a partner at every step of the way in the act of sex do you have to say i like this i don't like this don't do this don't do that like do people understand that when someone says no you're actually saying a full sentence like i'm not comfortable with this it is unfortunate that in this world the whole entire world people still don't understand why women are so adamant on this issue of consent rape is not just something that you know just happens and it fucks with your mind for life like that shit will stay with you forever you get what i mean and so i don't understand why people still don't understand the word no i felt bad for mckenna but at least it got us talking on twitter it got people talking about this and your experiences and i feel like we need to do a lot more when it comes to that angle of sexual assault and the issue of consent there is a lot of work to be done but i like mckenna this season um i like the character development and thumbs up to nicole everybody's favorite shot it <laughs> shot it this season and she continued dating and dating and dating and dating and the one issue that i want to tackle when it comes to shot is her and her married boyfriend kwame not said she's 33 years old in the um episode where she was in the gym she said she was 33 years old and she never thought that at her age she was going to be you know the side chick to a married man but she's also having feelings of maybe am i missing anything out and are women who choose not to well not choose but who who happen to find themselves single at over 30 years do they are they missing out anything by not like you know grabbing some man off the street and having a baby with them are they missing out if you're married or you have kids you want to share your experience with that that would be great because i felt like this season shade was like wow like i'm fabulous i think i'm fabulous with this single life but do i really want this am i missing out will i be better as a mom i like shade's character development this season of course she's crazy um <laughs> she's the one who's crazy she's one of the friends who always wants to go cut somebody's balls off and stuff so i like i like um shade also this season this season i heard zainab she was a complete and utter mess this season when it came to her dating pool with a bunch of weirdos i can't really think about one person that i thought was a great match for zainab was this political guy there was crazy chris Atar. um there was the guy she met at the filling station who spent seven hours doing whatever the fuck he was doing um there was just a bunch of people and she just in the end she didn't end up with anybody so i think it's extremely crazy to date in a car i can't really say for now but it's crazy to date everywhere like nobody's really even single in new york city really <laughs> so i i really understand what the angle that zainab was coming from this season it's quite sad that she put herself out there and she still you know couldn't get anybody to you know finish the season with at least uh another thing that i zainab did that i really also liked this season was with her company um not selling her company to the south african investor and what i want to say about that is that a lot of times when people go to developing nations and they see that people have great ideas 
but there aren't a lot of resources or money or like expertise to like actually you know grow the business instead of them saying hey let me be a partner to you and help you they want to pay you out outright because they know that you need the money you know and so i like the fact that zainab considered the local workers the shea butter workers and it was like you know what the moment i sell the company to this um, investor all he's in for is the profit he doesn't care about my country he doesn't care about these women feeding the kids all he wants to make is profit so i commend zainab for that um I commend Ngozi also for giving that white man that monologue about saving Africa and stuff. You don't live there. You just get paid there. You don't know the first thing about it. Um, you don't believe everything you see on the internet and your PowerPoint slides ain't going to fix nothing. So I really, really like the fact that uh, African City is telling a different story. I completely and utterly just love to see this season was really great i like that they listened to us and you know they toned down the dinner scenes and stuff and the makeup was great the fashion was awesome like the interior deco it was crazy like it was so afrocentric and it was like pulling my heart strings it was great it was absolutely great so this is a review for an african city season two if you've watched everything let's talk if you've not even finished and you want to ask questions so you want to engage in the conversation let's link our comments down below my name is Dana Ashanti how did you feel about an African city season two should we start let me know what you thought about an African city season two if there was any issue that I missed out let's discuss it I like the fact that a lot of people responded to the season and a lot of us were promoting it because we wanted everybody to you know see what we're seeing and always like stop you know making up stuff and actually have facts from people i love this season i love the writers i like everything that nicole did like thumbs up nicole good job my name is nana ashanti i will catch you in my next video take care